Kevin Armstrong has been working on this story today and joins us in studio with more. Kevin. Daryl, not only is it just ahead of budget day, but the PCs boarded the bus right after a media conference laying out what the government calls a more frugal and accountable way of budgeting in the future. Bill 1 will be about uh, getting better value for taxpayer dollars. It's about uh, looking at how we can do things better, smarter. While the Treasury Board President was touting a new budget process, a bus was filling up with PC MLAs behind the legislature. Certainly we're going to be frugal in what we do, and certainly we're going to make sure that we're spending within our limits, which are, are uh, uh, just a, a progressive conservative thing to do. And with that, all PC MLAs and some staff boarded the bus headed for Jasper Park Lodge for two nights, three days. The bill, $70,000. The government is saying 70000 Wow. Wow, there, there is absolutely no justification for this to be an expense that is covered by taxpayers. It should be covered by the PC party, and I'm, I'm pretty astonished. This is why Albertans got to throw these bums out. What the government is doing is disrespectful of Albertans. They're wasting hard-earned taxpayer dollars. But government staff argue retreats are not unusual. In fact, they've been held in the Edmonton and Calgary areas in the past, maintaining this is just an extension. Companies and organizations often hold off-site retreats, and there's value in that. You get away from the distractions of the office, and you send a message to your team that this is important, and we've got important work to do. Instead of you know going off to some fancy retreat in a place like Jasper, uh, they should actually you know bear down here in, all, in, in Edmonton. Albertans have been prepared for what will be a fourth straight deficit budget. Where this is going to cost is not going to balance the budget, but you know when they send that message to uh, 30,000 government employees, uh, that's a pretty strong message that uh, you know what we're not all that concerned about cutting this budget and getting things back in line because this seems like a frill they could do without. Now, Taxpayers Federation goes on to say that government loses credibility with unions. It's currently in negotiations with AUP for about 22,000 staff. Those talks have been rocky. The membership voted 95% against a mediated agreement. They meet again just next week. Well, it's also you know, the Redford government coming up criticism about a, a pre-election type tour, the cabinet tour that we recently saw. And now some critics are saying this is pre-election planning as well. And adding to that argument, upwards of 25 PC candidates who are not currently MLAs will be joining the group on Thursday. I'm told they're going on their own dime. All right, Kevin Armstrong, thank you. You're welcome.